classes classes are new in ES6, at least for JavaScript. A class is a blueprint from which individual objects are created. Classes provide a much simpler and clearer syntax to create objects and deal with inheritance. One way to define a class is using a class declaration. To declare a class, you use the class keyword with the name of the class. You can see here, this is the class declaration. The important part about this is it just starts with the word class. A class expression is another way to define a class. Class expressions can be named or unnamed. The name given to a named class expression is local to the class's body. So you can see that a, na a class expression starts with the, the variable name and for the unnamed and then the name also starts with the variable named. But then this one has the class name here, the named one, the unnamed does not have the class name. But let's go back up here a little bit. I'm actually going to paste some code in here. The first thing I want to talk about is the constructor function. The constructor function starts with the word constructor and I'll have the variables that you're going to pass in when you're creating the class. And you can see that I just assigned those variables that I pass in or the, the data that I pass in to be properties of the function. When you say this.name equals name, now the class is going to have a property called name and a property called year born. I also have another function that I've put in called get age. When a function starts with get, that means you're going to call this age as a property and not a function. When you call a function, you put the parentheses after it. Uh, when you call a property, there, there's no, no parentheses. I'll give you an example in just a minute. And you can see that this getter function actually calls this.calcAge, which is down here. So it can actually do a calculation and send the calculation back as a property. So let me show you an example down here. If we create a new instance of this class, I'm going to put var me equals new person. I'm going to pass in a name and a year. So you can see I put the name of my new instance of this class and you have always when you're creating a new instance you always use the new keyword and the word person that just comes from the name of the class up here and then see in the constructor we have you pass in a name a year born so that's what I passed in to, into the new person now now that I've created it, I can actually use this information let me show you an example console.log and if I run this here you can see in the console, Bo was born in 1983. So you can see you can actually just add um, these variable names with, with strings. And when I call this me.name, that's going to take out the, the name Bo that we passed in when we created the function, or when we created the, the, the instance of the class. And we do me.yearborn, it's going to call out the year that we passed in when we created th that, that instance. So here we called properties of the instance of the class, me.name, but we can also call functions. If you look up here, we have another function, what, and it's going to actually log right in the function. It says console.log this.name is a person. So if I type in me.what, now this time I'm going to have to put the um, two parentheses after that because I'm calling a function and not just a property. So let's run that. And you can see right in the console it says the first thing, Bo was born in 1983, and then it shows Bo is a person. There's another type of function we can put in here, and that is a static function. So I'm going to create a new function. I'm going to type in static. Now when you put a function in a class and use the word static, that defines a static method for a class. Static methods are called without instantiating their class and are also not callable when the class is instantiated. And static methods are often used to create utility functions for an application. So here, to call the me.name, me.what, we had to instantiate it by doing var me equals new person. But to call the arms function, we don't need to make an, an instance of it. So let me give you an example. Console.log So as you can see, instead of calling me.arms, 
I actually called person.arms. So to call a static function, you, you put in the name of the class and then call the function instead of the name of the instance of the class, which would be me. So let's run that and see what it does. Yeah, see it says um, Bo has two arms. You can also put in a space there. Okay, another thing I want to tell you about it is the extends keyword. The extends keyword is used in, the, in class declarations or class expressions to create a class as a child of another class. When you create a child, it can use all the properties and the functions of the original class, but then you can add some more. Let me give you an example. So as you can see, I have defined another class called juggler that extends a person. So um, usually when you're going to use the word extends, it should be an is a relationship. For instance, a juggler is a person. So that's how I juggler extends person. Juggler is a person. Now you can see in the person class, we have what. If you call what, it's going to console.log this.name is a person. However, in the juggler class, we've redefined the what function and it's going to say console.log this.name is a juggler. So let me show you an example of how this works. First, we're going to create a new, a new instance of this juggler class. So, so I've created a new instance of the juggler class. I called the juggler J, born in 1980. Then I called me.what, that was the original instance of the person class, and now I called you.what, that's the instance of the juggler class. So let's see what happens. I'm going to hit run. Now you can see the last two lines of the console. Bo is a person and J is a juggler. So you can see that for you that called the, the J and the only thing in the juggler class is the what. It says console.log this.name but juggler doesn't have a this.name. That's because it's, it's bringing in the this dot, the dot name from the person class. So this.name is a juggler. So it changes the what function depending on if it's the person or the juggler. And the only other thing I wanted to talk about during this lesson is the super keyword. So if you add a the word super, you can call functions on an object's parent. So the parent of the juggler class is the person class. So if I type in super.what and then I'm going to clear the console again and now I'm going to run this. So if you look at the last two lines now, it says J is a person and then J is a juggler. That's where this super.what, when it says super.what here, it's calling this command up here, console.log this.name is a person, which is calling J is a person because we're in the J uh, instance, and then we're going to console.log this.name is a juggler. So using the super command allows you to call the the function from the previous, from the, the parent of the class. Well, thanks for watching. My name is Bo Carnes. Don't forget to subscribe, and remember, use your code for good.